WTFNN. Headline News Update. Welcome, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 69. You had the Nasdaq up 17. S&P's up 7.5. You get over and take a look at this S&P's, folks. You got to remember something. We're in summer trading. You get illiquid markets. Everyone's going on vacation. Tomorrow, bottom line, you get um, to 1 o'clock. And you can see they ran this market right into the close. Uh, S&P's up here. Uh, bottom line, we had a low out here today of uh, 29.58. You're at 29.75 right now. This market still wants higher price. And what I do expect we're going to see is they're going to run this market tomorrow. They're going to run this market on Friday. And more than likely, we're going to finish this ABC structure on the way up. Um, you take a look at the SPY first. When you're looking at the SPY, SPY traded out here. 55 million shares. Not bad. Yesterday, uh, we had more volume. We didn't hit the high of yesterday. It certainly closed at the high of the day, though. Uh, today, we did 55 million. Yesterday, we did 79 million. You go look at the NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. NDX right now, uh, 190, uh, 17 million shares going into 31. Anemic volume, but guess what? Um, they'll, it's just, this thing is just set up for a run going into July 4th. Gold contract. Gold contract caught a monster bid. And uh, we were trying to figure out, you know, what that's all about, because certainly it wasn't about the U.S. dollar. Well, I suspect what that was about, folks, is that you had the European Union uh, nominate uh, Christine Lagarde to be the next uh, chairman of the European Central Bank. And once that took place, guess what? Uh, the market's saying that she's going to be more dovish than Draghi. And bottom line, you saw the gold contract go from 1386 up to 1416, and you get volume behind the move. And so uh, that is, uh, if in fact she does go through the nomination process, which which is starting right now, uh, that would she will be, I believe it's October 27th. Uh, that that's when the change, uh, October 31st, that's when the reins would change. And uh, guess what? It's, uh, it's pretty close. No two ways about that. Notes and bonds, bottom line, higher price, lower yield. Uh, this 10-year out here, I believe this is going to be one of the, of the closing highs in the uh, contract as well as the yield. Uh, yeah, we closed right at the high of the day, 128.04. And that brings your 10-year uh, yield down to, I bet, 1.97. 1.9723 was the low of today. Stay right there, folks. A few numbers coming out after the close. Recap out here. We had the Dow Industrials finish up 69. NASDAQ up 17. S&P's up 9.5. Come right back.